Is Congress feeling the heat of the Maharashtra election? It would appear so. What started out as a routine thing that there was a letter telling some farmers that their land belongs to Wakf has now snowballed spectacularly and the Karnataka Congress government is forced to retract the entire thing. Now, there is a new conspiracy angle also emerging. I'm going to talk about all this and more. So first, please like this video and also take a quick look at this slide deck that I have done for you. Here we go. Karnataka withdraws Wakf land notices. Karnataka's law minister H.K. Patil announced the withdrawal of notices designating the 1,500 acres in Honavada, Vijaypura as Wakf properties. Patil confirmed that the government would retract the notice due to a mistake made by the Tasildar. My foot. This was deliberately done. They tried it. They failed. And now they are withdrawing it. Something similar was attempted in Tiruchandurai in uh, Tamil Nadu also. And then they retracted it. Look, this is an attempt to try and see how much they can squeeze out of this work nonsense. And basically, the Congress government thought that they will help them along. Only then, they were caught with their hand in the cookie jar. And now they are hastily retracting it. Deputy Commissioner-led inquiry will determine the cause of the error. Bullshit. This is this is at the Tasildar level. It is it is a corruption. In fact, I'll show you what really happened. How things got transferred. There is a table. There are a bunch of references. You guys, you guys are welcome to look at it. This was a thuggery attempted by the Karnataka Congress government. And now, when they are caught, they are trying to play damage control. That's all it is. Deputy Commissioner-led inquiry will determine the cause of the error. Industries Minister M. B. Patil, who is in charge of Vijaypura, said that the error cropped up due to a 1974 Gazette notification. I don't buy any of this BS. The work board corrected in 1977 by removing Honavada from the records, Patil added. The 74 notification designated 10 acres and 14 guntas of land for a burial ground with an additional 24 guntas uh, housing and Eidga and a mosque as well as work property. Patil argued that the accountability lies with local officers, not the Waqf minister, Zamir Ahmed Khan, amid calls for his resignation. Look, everybody is in this thing together from the top to the bottom. This is my humble submission to the JPC. Look, please recommend at the very end, there are too many contradictions. The best thing to do is to dissolve this whole Waqf board and transfer all the records to an independent body that is certified to be neutral and then let them go through it case by case. Assume that nothing is valid. That's all I would do. Patil said the government has no intention to convert farmer's land into work property and in case of any mistake, it will be rectified and action taken against those responsible. What I'm going to show you is going to shock you guys. Just stay with me. District Commissioner T. Bhopalan reassured farmers their land rights remain intact noting standard procedures for work updates and urging against panic due to misinformation. Karnataka BJP accused the Congress government of carrying out land jihad by allegedly trying to seize 1,500 acres of farmland through the work board. Leader of opposition R. Oshoka criticized CM Siddharamaya and Deputy CM D.K. Shivkumar for not addressing or reassuring farmers about their land rights amidst the controversy. BJP MP Tejasvi Surya accused the work board of attempting to acquire farmers' land, escalating concern among local farmers. All this is one side. Do you know really what happened? A new evidence has emerged that shows that the work board's name was added to revenue records overnight. This is why I'm saying the whole thing is a bullshit about 1974 and 1977. The farmers in Vijayapura claim the work board's name was inserted into revenue records overnight, making 44 properties in column 11 of the RTC without prior notice. Farmers in Honmada village received notices on October 4th, alleging a conspiracy to register their land under the work board in advance of the work amendment bill. Documents show work's name added to 41 properties in Indi Taluk and 3 in Chadachan Taluk within 3 weeks affecting 433 farmers across 124 survey members. Here is the records list. See how, see the ones that are marked in Indi and Chadachan, 41 plus 3, 44 got added overnight. <laughs> this is basically 
try and grab as much as possible, create as much controversy as possible, create as much noise as possible. Who is going to check? Who is going to stop us? This is the mindset. BJP claims the Congress is using the work vote to seize Hindu farmers' land for vote bank politics, citing unchecked powers granted by Congress in 1995 and 2013 to declare land as work. This is the whole thing about how uh, Narsimara government and, and then the UPA too did. Farmers are presenting documents from 60s and 70s to demonstrate continuous possession and cultivation of their lands, challenging the WAF claims. Tehsildars in Kolhar and Devara Hipparigi have allegedly issued notices based on the Deputy Commissioner's instructions doing a video conference in September. So this was officially done to all the taluks. Tehsildar is the head of the taluk. With opposition in Karnataka now upping the ante, Siddha government has gotten into damage control mode. No surprises there. Government tasked Assistant Commissioner Abid Gayal to verify RTC mutations favoring the work board and requested records from affected farmers. Why do you have to go and produce your records? Somebody arbitrarily takes the register of ownership and starts changing. How does a farmer have the sixth sense to know that suddenly his land is disputed? What nonsense are they asking? I, I really don't understand this guy. By way of comments, please, you know, if you happen to read some vernacular media, tell me how does a farmer know that suddenly his land ownership is under dispute? Farmer leaders allege that without bringing the matter to their notice, land records of farmers in Tenahalli village in Indi Taluk and Honmada village in Tikota Taluk were changed and made in favor of work. Minister Zamir Ahmed reportedly pressured local administrators to expedite work land claims, sparking concerns of potential misuse of power and favoritism in land management. Sidramaya unasked for advice. You may want to dump this person. Otherwise, it's going to cost you dear in the Maharashtra and Jharkhand elections. Today, I'm telling you, in, the work, in a work for Dalat, Zamir Ahmed stated that applications pending for 10 to 15 years must be addressed with no intention to discard them, signaling urgency to administrator. After each Waqf Adalat, meetings with AC, DC, Tehsildar, RDPR and police are held where deadlines are issued to resolve cases within a month. Zamir cited Bidar as an example where following Waqf Adalat, 310 out of 380 pending Qatas were resolved within days with only 70 remaining. Well, somebody needs to go and dig into this a little bit more deep. In Bidar, 4 of 11 encroachments were cleared, the 15-day timeline set to address the rest. In Vijaypura, over 700 Kata cases pending for 10 to 15 years were addressed in the recent Waqf Adalat with flagging issues also resolved. I suspect that this is one of those uh, times when minority is feeling the heat. And by hook or crook, somehow it feels like that. I am not saying that it is that. This whole arbitrary acquisition of land because they found some evidence is not going to hold water. This whole thing is a BS. What should go? Like I said, committee, uh, constitute an independent committee, hopefully of non-Muslims. The reason I am saying that is because this should not only be fair, but appear to be fair with everybody getting equal time to represent their case and start resolving it. And it should be like a reset button is pressed. No one known owns anything. As far as the work board dispensation goes, everybody needs to come to the table to resolve this thing. This is how it should be done. Of course, it will not be done this way. India is never known to solve the problem in an easy way. It will always take the hard way out. Thanks for watching. Please like, share and subscribe to our channel. Don't forget to click on the bell button for notifications. Namaskar.